could literally turn into a solid. Recently, there has been an experiment conducted by Italian researchers stating they have turned light into a super solid. As a result, the majority of people are saying that light has been rendered solid, which isn't really an accurate description of what really happened, because light did not become solid or super solid. Before going on, some terms are necessary to understand the experiment in question. A super fluid refers to a very cold liquid in a frictionless state. The most fascinating super fluid has to be helium. When cooled to near absolute zero, helium becomes a super fluid capable of going through the ceramic in which it is contained. This happens because its frictionless flow lets it sneak through gaps just nanometers wide. Super fluid helium has zero viscosity, therefore it flows without any loss of kinetic energy. This means if we take helium and spin it for a while then stop doing so, it will keep spinning perpetually forever, as long as it remains in a perfectly sealed ultra cold system. Some years ago, physicists discovered a new state of matter, a mind bending phase that's both super fluid and ordered like a solid. And when I say ordered like a solid, I don't mean like a rock or an apple, it's more like it is able to preserve a somewhat organized structure. Scientists first theorized about this decades ago, but it was only some years ago that they were able to create it in ultra cold atomic gases. In this experiment, the researchers have made a super solid with light. They used a semiconductor device to create polaritons, weird quantum particles that take properties from both light and matter. They shine light onto a specially engineered photonic crystal, exciting electrons in the material. The excited electrons coupled with trapped photons, forming polaritons. At high densities, these polaritons condense into a single quantum state similar to a Bose-Einstein condensate, then organized into a striped pattern while staying frictionless like a superfluid. It is important to remember that the super solid behavior came from polaritons, not pure light. They're like dressed photons with mass and interactions. And even then, the stripes in the experiment weren't a solid in the traditional sense, just a density wave in the polaritan fluid. Light alone cannot form a solid because it lacks the necessary interactions. Polaritons work because they're part matter. At the end, I think researchers have to be more careful with the words they come up with to describe their findings. The most people solid implies something hard like a rock. But here it's really about spatial order plus superfluidity. This isn't about solidifying light. It's about engineering quantum materials where light and matter merge to exhibit exotic behaviors. Such findings can lead to room temperature quantum devices without the hassle of cooling everything to almost absolute zero, meaning experiments are going to become much easier to conduct giving way to more discoveries.